I grew up in Southeast Ohio in a town called uh, Amesville, Ohio. I joined the military straight out of high school. Um, growing up, I had some uncles and my father all served in the military. I had always wanted to serve our country. And then, so I joined the military straight out of high school, um, went to basic training and straight into airborne school. And I was a paratrooper in the 82nd Airborne Division for three years. After being a paratrooper in the 82nd Airborne Division for three years, I decided to go try out to become a Green Beret. Um, I made it, um, stayed in the military for a full career. I did 21 years in the military, 18 of those years as a Green Beret in 3rd Special Forces Group. Throughout my career as a Green Beret, I deployed all over the world uh, in some low intensity conflict stuff. Um, and then obviously after September 11th, um, started deploying to combat, uh, went to Afghanistan and Iraq. Uh, overall uh, eight different deployments through those two different regions alone. About a year after getting to my first Special Forces A team, I was uh, selected by my team sergeant to go to sniper school. Um, that, that was actually a personal goal of mine to go to sniper school, which was uh, you know, a, a great opportunity. And I actually ended up gra graduating as Top Gun in my sniper school class. In 2008 in Afghanistan, me along with uh, three other guys on my detachment were severely wounded. Um, you know, after that, I, I went and took over the Special Forces Sniper School at 3rd Special Forces Group. Later on in my career, I became a sniper, uh, a Special Forces Sniper School instructor. And um, in that capacity, um, the technologies changed. I actually went out and found ballistic software as well as uh, advanced reticle systems um, that are available today, as, as well as multiple other pieces of technology that, that we've integrated into what snipers do, as well as just the, the weapons and the ammunition themselves. They've all evolved and, and became uh, a lot better than what we had. My experience in the military actually led to my, my career um, following my retirement, uh, which is why I moved to Phoenix, Arizona. I became the president of McMillan Firearms, and now today I've started my own company, SF Precision. The reason I started SF Precision is I really believe that you know a rifle isn't interesting unless it's very accurate. And so uh, I wanted to build MSRs and bolt guns um, that had great quality and, and accuracy. Another thing we do at SF Precision is I provide uh, training for uh, special operations, military, law enforcement, and different government agencies, as well as individuals in long range precision, as well as some tactical forces. Um, uh, you know, it wasn't originally my plan to do that. Um, I, I kind of considered myself to go out into the, the regular marketplace and, and work like everybody else. But o over time, I realized there was a market for it. Um, the, the lessons we learned in combat and different things, um, the, the technology involved with long range precision now, um, there, there was a, absolutely a place in the market for a company to come out there and, and teach it at, at you know, a very advanced level. I first started hunting when I was a small boy in, in Ohio. I always loved to go shooting. Um, you know, I lived on a small farm, so we always had the opportunity to do that. As hunters, we spend, you know, hours, months, days, weeks, uh, vast amounts of time preparing for a hunt. Um, and, and the hunt comes down inevitably to, um, you know, that, that shot. That's why I love to train. That's why I love to be very proficient at what I do because at that moment, then I have the confidence to break that shot. To me, hunting is more about the journey than it is the trophy. Um, and so, you know, whether I'm, I'm out here in the West, you know, I enjoy the, the, the aspects of scouting, um, everything in preseason all the way through the close of the season and the challenges, the terrain and, and uh, you know, the animals present.